It's finally time. It's finally time. Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Metazo, and welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom. Or rather, welcome to the stars above the Mushroom Kingdom in my favorite game of all time. Super Mario Galaxy. Oh, man, this game. Oh, my God, this game. I could go on for hours. I literally could go on for hours about how much I love this game. I could go on and on about the levels, the gameplay, the characters, the graphics, the story, the music. And I could also talk to you about some really depressing philosophical crap about how this game changed my life and made me the man I am today. But that's what Let's Play's for, right? But, as of right now, the game is telling me to press both A and B, and I am here to humbly oblige. And it's my job to welcome you to Super Mario Galaxy. Trust me, I know you'll enjoy yourself. Every 100 years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the, it filled the skies with the countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. I'll be waiting for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival. There's something I'd like to give you from Peach. Oh, we know what Mario's thinking. We all fucking know. All right, we're finally into it. It's a, it's a happy time. It's a Star Festival. We can pick up all this shit. Let's go. You can use our pointer to pick up all known things. You can press the B button to shoot those, shoot those head things. Uh, there you go, the star bits. And, uh, I guess we should go to the basic controls, shall we? As always, this is a Mario game, so, control stick to move, A to jump, Z to crouch, Z, Z A while moving does a long jump, Z A standing still does a short jump, C doesn't do anything right now, but it resets your camera, uh, D, D pad controls your camera, press up at some point of the game, you'll be able to go into first person mode and appreciate the amazing things. And, uh, that's about it. So, if we move along, we can, we can see this little pier here. If we go here, we see a gorgeous view. There's what seems to be Toad Town. Seems like a fountain is going up. There's shooting stars raining down above the sky and grabbing, allowing us to grab these amazing star bits. And, of course, we see the beautiful Mushroom Kingdom Castle in the distance. And, from that note, Peach said, I think it's time we head there. So a long jump is the fastest way to move, so that is the best way, that is the most efficient way, so, uh, even to you too! Let's go!
Titans. Because why not? All right, looks like looks like we're at the same Princess Peach again. But we gotta get as soon as possible the Toads. Seem to be trapped in this crystal type thing. But that's not our priority right now. Our priority right now is gonna get Princess Peach as soon as possible. Let's go. No, please, anything but those. Not the. Not the nipple lasers. No! Looks like we all I have to do is jump with A. We already kind of know this. This is a Mario game, guy. Come on. You look so good to follow this guy. Look at this. Ha ha ha! I got here first. I got here first, bitch. You thought? And I get put you back here. Okay. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. Bitch, I think you should tell me where we are first before I find you because uh, right now I feel like I'm being held hostage. And they're and they're gone. Oh shit. Now if you hear, you can listen, if you listen, you can hear hopping. Hmm. Aha, there you are, you son of a bitch. Come here. Come here, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna get that rabbit ass. Oh wait. Oh god. Oh god, I started something, didn't I? There we go. You caught me! Oh, if only I hidden in the pipe. Pipe, huh? Hmm. Aha! Now, if they're being a little too fast for you, you can't actually shoot star bits. And if they hit, if they, if they hit it, they if they hit it. They actually spit up in the air, allowing you to catch them. I should have hidden in the grass. Myself get caught. Whoa, 
Oh, you caught all of us? Maybe you, maybe you really can help Mama. What the fuck? Sorry about bringing you here so suddenly. We should have probably told you where you are. There's a connection here to deep space, far from your lands. We call it the Gateway to the Starry Sky. So I guess this is the Gateway, huh? Mama's waiting on Bugs. Please, please help her with whatever she asks. Please do as Mama asks. Yep. Alright. This doesn't sound wrong at all. And you know what? I'm gonna do whatever she asks because allow me to introduce my first video game love. I've been watching you from here. This place is known as the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. Hmm. <laughs> Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. And with that, we now have a baby to take care of. Yeah! But we also have the ability to spin now, because apparently we weren't able to do that before. All we have to do is shake the Wii Remote, or as Ren likes to call it, the Waggle! Disaster has struck us, just like it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Stars. Grand Stars, you say? May the stars shine down. Hmm. It's a nice little catchphrase in Mario. Get an upskirt shot. I wish I was Mario right now. God damn it, please go up. No! And apparently she evolved into a Luma. Wait, that was gonna happen to humans? Shake the waggle to spin. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to call it that way. Shake the remote to spin into things that look breakable. You can never, you can even spin enemies to sun them. But Mario, Mario gets that upskirt shot, and he looks, he looks completely dumbfounded. Man, I wish I was Mario. But wait. Well, if we're following True Respect Brothers, apparently what's under that is just a galaxy. So are we in? Pe are we in? That begs the question. Are we in Rosalina's breath? Uh, are we in Lo Rosalina's dress right now? I hope we are. But it says to spin things that look breakable. Well, this looks breakable, and of course it is. Now, if you notice, when you spin, the Luma actually comes out for a quick second. That's basically just a cooldown. You can't do it over and over again, otherwise it'd be just basically a moon grump. You just make moon grump. Hey, I'm grump. I'm not so grump. And we. The game grumps. Jesus Christ, my fucking. Look, g give me a break. I just woke up like a couple. Of, I just woke up like a couple, like half an hour ago. All right, fuck off. This is a large star. Shake the wheel remote when you're near one to shoot through space like a comet. Now go and explore the universe. There are lots and lots of galaxies for you to discover. I thought I said for a lot of thought discoveries for you to destroy. Discover, destroy. What's the difference? Let's go. Good to see you. I have some bad news though. See, I had a launch star all ready for you, but it made you smashed it up. You can't live without it, so find out the starship to fix it. Oh, and be sure and to not fall in the black hole. Bitch, you broke the goddamn you broke the goddamn star. Why don't you go get the star chips? I just fucking got here. It's like going into your friend's house and being like, hey, can you pick up everything from my room? Okay, thanks. Fuck you. But if we look here, we see you earned one additional Mario. So these are the star chips. Basically, they are kind of like red coins, but instead of giving you a star, they just progress the level for you. Now, as you see, I skipped this one because if we grab this, the launch star appears right above us, and we can just, oops, we can just spin. Be running tactics, ladies and gentlemen. Courtesy of Metazel, you're welcome. Oh, see this guy, he's up in the, in the cage. Get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key! You can shake the weird mode to spin them around and make them dizzy. Once they're stunned, just run into them. 
Yeah, that seems like a fair option. But if we notice here, these are Goomba. Ow, fuck you. But this Goomba, not not the same as a Goomba. Goomba with an H. If you notice, we have three. We have three hits. We can we can get hit three times before we lose a life, and coins regain that life, just like any other three D Mario game. Thanks. Would you mind rescuing my buddy up at the base up there? I'll take over to a sling star. Just jump into me after I transform. Spin enemies. Run into them when they're stunned to boot them. Very kind of knew that. But uh, if we hit this thing, it stuns all enemies in a radius. And kind of resets the camera. But if we see here, we get this big motherfucker. Get this. Take the shit out of him, and he dies by he dies by his own massive weight. Yep. Grab the key. The cage goes away. They're able to head there. They're able to head back. Be careful here, those electric things at the very end will, will electrocute you and take out your life. Hurry! Down here! We've been waiting for you. Oh god. Rape alert! Bad touch! Bad touch! That's a Grand Star! We have to save it! They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine! It looks like it's making... something. We have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained! Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine! Well, it's like, it looks like it's starting to jump to top stop that terrible machine! Ah! <laughs> what way to stop this terrible machine? By flipping switches! I'm, I'm great at this game. I'm amazing. I have no idea. Run around here. There we go. We'll just be running tactic, just in case you don't want to talk to the Luma. Well, I do, so. And there it is. Thank you! Now save the Grand Star! Right here, dude. Man, fuck you! I was gonna make a, I was gonna make a moment. Are oh, you awesome too, bitch? Fuck you! And so begins our journey. Once you grab this Grand Star, it all begins. I've been waiting ten years to do this, and I can't wait a minute longer. So join me. As I said, YOU GOT A GRAND STAR! The beacon is lit again! It shines weakly. Only maybe as bright as a class 6 star. But at least the poor woman is alive now. Oh, well, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home. 
and also Homes and Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years or so, but we suddenly stop in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away star beds and our only source, power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it ended a deep hibernation state in which we could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please. Please, I, I have a request. This observatory uses power stars to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. Yeah. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the power star you just restored, is this one, the Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If you do that, we'll be able to restore the common observatory's ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran with the power stars. And we got fucking Mario's gigantic fucking nose in the camera. And with that, I think that's going to about do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave me a fantastic rating, like, comment, favorite, share, and subscribe. Lots of stuff you do for my channel. It helps out immensely. In the next episode, we are going to be heading out towards the new, the new dome, the terrace. Try to find the next Power Stars and see if we can try to find our special one. Until then, live life so heaven is on earth.